Do you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24? Go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's more economic than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an additional 6% off using promo code ELI at checkout. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We have Foot Champ Tactics to go over today. This time is going to be a little bit different. Uh, than my normal tactics i made it a little bit more aggressive than normal i kept the same exact formations from last week i just changed it up a little bit made it a little bit more aggressive uh last week i ended up getting i think i got 19 and 1 or 18 and 2 one or the other i don't even remember anymore uh so this week i'm gonna try to go for the same thing so i'm gonna use these exact same tactics i'll tell you what i switched why i switched it and how you can switch it for yourself uh so let's get into the actual tactics uh, so same formations that stayed is the 432, 4321, 352, and the 4231. I searched the 4422424 4, 2, 4, uh, just because I found last week a lot of players were, <clears throat> excuse me, were playing in the back, just passing the ball around in the back, um, and I just wanted my wingers to be a little bit more higher up. So I went ahead and changed it to 424, but almost everything is the same. Okay, so this is what I want to go over, and you have to pay attention. So please pay attention. My main formation that I'm going to be using this week is going to be 4-2-3-1 with long ball. My backup formation is 4-3-2-1. My defensive formation will be 3-5-2. But I make this 3-5-2 defending a 5-3-2. And I'll go over that right now. I just didn't change these two because I already had them in those slots. And honestly, I became a little lazy. So I just left it as is. But again, to repeat myself, my go-to formation will be 4-2-3-1 with long ball. Backup formation, if that's not working, will be 4-3-2-1. Um, and then my ultra defensive formation would be 3-5-2, which is still kind of attacking. Now let's get into the main tactic, 4-2-3-1. Um, if you don't like this 4-2-3-1, you can go ahead and replace it uh, with any of my 4-3-3s that I posted recently. Any of the 4-3-3s that are these, uh, especially 4-3-3-4, that one's very good. I'll make an updated one on that shortly. Uh, 4-2-1-3 that I posted a few days ago, you can... Put, you can put that one there too uh everything else what else can you switch it to my 4411 that i posted a while ago you can use that one too uh that would be like the only formations you can use there you can get away with like a 4222 if you really want to use a 4222 or like a 442 if you want to do that too that's kind of up to you uh either one 442 or 442 second bracket uh but we're talking about the 4231 this is what i'm going to be using so what i changed is this is all the same balance 37 width 60 depth this is on old gen so if you're new gen up this to 40 width and the depth to about 63 65 whatever your sweet spot is on on new gen um anywhere those two will be fine you can even get away with 60 it's a little bit lower than normal but you can kind of get away with that um but i recommend starting off 63 and you can go higher or lower if you like the uh, auto press then by all means go ahead and add on the auto press that's completely up to you i don't do it anymore because I'm using that Arsenal past and present team. It's not the most meta team. And then a lot of players that I'm playing up against do have team of the year cards, uh, especially in the elite division and the higher division. So I'm just kind of done with uh, getting done over the top with through ball. So I just kind of lower the depth a little bit so I can kind of manually control when I'm going to press um, and when I'm going to be able to run back. And that way I can kind of run back with my CDMs instead of making my defensive lines go so high up, if that makes sense. But if you like the auto press, by all means, go ahead and slap that on there. Um, for me, I'm going to leave 60. If you're on old gen and you do want a little bit of a more uh, aggressive press, then put 72. This is the only time I'm going to go into detail over the depth because everything else is about the same. Just kind of copy it and go from there. Uh, so old gen 37, new gen 40 on this. Now, this is what I recommend. I recommend trying out long ball and direct passing. It makes the formation so much more aggressive, but not aggressive as in where your players are going to be running away from you. More aggressive as in like your players are going to be finding more areas. Like, um, let's say your main striker is actually going to be making more aggressive runs. You don't understand how many times you can get 1v1 situations versus the goalie in this formation with the long ball tactic. Um, where you can just kind of send them on a quick through ball, ball roll the goalie and score. And score since the Travellas are a little nerf, finesse shots are a little nerf, through balls aren't nerfed, cutbacks aren't nerfed, sweat sweating the goal isn't nerfed. So you have to use the through ball tactics or just through ball mechanics in general to be able to uh, score more goals in this game. So that's what I'm, I'm basically doing. So long ball basically, it just it's a lazy way of 
making your players run forward instead of doing O1 triggers. So instead of pressing the L1 to send them forward, uh, or instead of doing the um, quick one twos like L1 pass and then sending your player on the L1 on the on the run, it's basically just making that a little bit more aggressive and making those runs by themselves instead of you doing them. It's not gonna move out of, out of position because of my instructions, but it will make them go a little bit more forward. So if they do see some green space, they will run into the green space and. Uh, just occupy that space and give an extra passing option, but more higher up um, So I recommend long ball if you don't like long ball then you can drop it to balance um, Now after you do get used to a long ball and you want to be even more aggressive then by all means do fast build up And that's completely up to you. I'm just fine with long ball. I don't want to play that fast um, So completely up to you. You can do fast build up. So I'm playing long ball direct passing with 47 players in the box five on the players in the box you can change it up to seven if you don't play um, long ball if you do balance then up it to seven if not just leave it at five corners and free kicks one and one I'm not gonna go over who goes where anything like that if you do wanna if you do wanna see me go into a deep dive of who goes where why I chose certain things um, then just go on my channel look up the most recent video of whatever formation it is and I go into deep into in-depth detail over everything that I, um, that went on in my mind if that makes sense of why i made this formation the way it is or the tactics or the instructions the way it goes uh by the way hit that like and hit that subscribe button it really helps out the channel a lot and it supports everything honestly all right goalie comes for cross the sweeper keeper both center backs stay back right back stay back you can't put overlap on this if you want kind of up to you i have it stay back regular um, and then your left back is going to be balance overlap. That's to make it a little bit more attacking. If you feel like that's too attacking, then you can put stay back while attacking. I just kind of like my fullback to overlap a little bit more, so I have them on balance attack. Um, both CDMs are cut passing lane, stay back while attacking cover center on both of them. So they'll just sit back to the deep. Um, and that's what's going to allow you not to get countered so much with the long ball tactic because you have two CDMs. I recommend playing one medium high and one high high work rate. Uh, that way they don't move out of position way too much and they do kind of sit a little bit deeper um, whenever you are building up. That way you don't get caught on counter attacks and it's easier to recycle the play. Cam, basic everything except for getting to a box for cross. Uh, so that way they can act like a shadow striker if your main striker moves out of position. Uh, they'll just fill in that hole and score a few goals. Now, if you make if it's too aggressive with the long ball tactic, then you could put balance everything. That's completely up to you. That's the only other thing I'm gonna say. It's because getting to a box for cross basically makes it seem like uh, almost like a getting behind instruction if a, in a way. If you want to look at it like that, like a last minute getting behind. Uh, right mid and left mid, or right cam and left cam, are come back on defense. So you defend in a four four one one and get into box for cross on both of them. And then striker, this is what makes it, his formation even more aggressive. Stay central, get in behind, stay forward. Put Eusebio here, put Mbappe. Um, I would play Zico at cam, but play somebody like that that's very fast, pacey, that can score a few goals. That Tevez is legit. That Lautaro Martinez is very good too. Play somebody like that that's a more of a getting behind striker that you can just bully people off the ball and just score goals. That's what you need. Fast, pacey striker. That Okun 4 Future Stars car, card. The evil one, the academy one, you can play him here and he'll be very, very good. All right, so let's get into my backup tactic and then I'll go into my uh, formation to shut off the game. My back backup tactic is 4 3 2 1, same thing as last week, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. Balance 37 width, 60 depth. Again, old gen, new gen, 40, 63, 65, somewhere around there. Um, old gen, just leave here, that's the sweet spot. Balance direct passing with 52 just to make it a little bit more wide, uh, just a little bit more aggressive. I'm uh, not aggressive, but a little bit more um, not congested so much in the midfield just to get the three midfielders more spread out. Players in the box five, corners and free kicks one and one. I do make this defending a 4 4 2, so I'll show you right now in a bit. Goalie comes for cross the sweeper keeper because of that whip cross meta. Both center backs stay back, right back stay back overlap. Left back balance overlap. You can you can tell I like to attack with my left back. But if you don't like to attack with your left back, then by all means just switch. Damn, just switch uh, both full backs around, um, and then kind of switch every tactic around. Like um, switch the left back with the right back tactic, the left center mid with the right center mid tactic, etc. Left forward and right forward. You get the hint. Um, CDM stay back while attacking cover center. Right center mid is going to be balance attack cover center. So this will be your right center mid when you defend in a 4-4-2. Your center center mid will be a left center mid when you defend in a 4-4-2. Uh, your left 
center mid will be stay back while attacking cover wing so he'll play as like a left mid in a 4-4-2 whenever you are defending so just keep that in mind right forward will be come back on defense that is it so he will drop deep and play right mid in front of the right back defending in a 4-4-2 striker stay central that is it and then the left striker balance everything that is it just let let the direct passing tactic do the work for you now the formation to shut off the game 352 I switched it up normally it's on 4231 but I wanted to use this formation and make it defend in a 532 that way you have two CDMs and you have one more striker dropping deep to defend in a 532 and the reason why I wanted to play this formation is because you have the right mid and the left mid they act like wing backs when you're defending um, and it's just easier for you to get out of a press by sending the ball and the through ball through the wings and if you're trying to play through the middle you have two CDMs you have your left striker dropping deep defending in the left center mid position your strike your cam you have an outlet player and then you have a striker that's kind of bombing forward trying to score some goals uh, so you can kind of confuse your opponent because you have outlet players on the wings you have outlet players through the middle and you have an outlet player through the striker so you have an outlet everywhere you want to go everywhere you want to go you have a way to get out of a press and that is the thought behind my madness um, so try it out give it a shot if you don't like it then just switch it back to the 4-2-3-1 that I had last week or you can switch it back to the this formation right here the 5-2-2-1 uh, the Bayern Leverkusen tactics that I posted a few few weeks ago by the way if you don't like this 4-3-2-1 sorry I forgot to mention if you don't like this 4-3-2-1 then swap it out to my 4-3-1-2 that I posted a few days ago or a few weeks ago 4-1-2-1-2 second variation or the 4-2-2 that would be very good or 4-4-2 you can kind of swap it out for any of those those will work uh even even this formation too three four two one i posted those a little while ago that formation is very very good i'm very tempted to play a whole weekend league with that formation not gonna lie to you guys all right but we're getting back to the three five two so everything is as follows balance 37 width 57 depth a little bit lower uh this is uh old gen new gen 40 60 leave it there don't change it just trust me 40 60 Old gen 3757 balance balance on this don't put direct passing um, the reason why is because this is a defensive formation so you want to shut off the game but also you don't want your players running away from you whenever you're trying to get out of a press you only want your striker to run away from you so, so you can send him a through ball and then everybody else is kind of moving into passing lanes to be able to give you passing options to get out of a press with 47 players in the box five corners and free kicks one and one instructions goalie Comes for cross the sweeper keeper. All three center backs stay back. Both CDMs cut passing lanes stay back while attacking cover center on both of these. Right mid come back on defense stay wide. So hence the stay wide instruction so you can send the ball from one side of the field to the other side of the field and avoid that press, that constant press. Uh, left mid come back on defense stay wide. Same thing. So you defend a 5 3 2 stay wide. Cam basic everything get into box for cross just because of that shadow striker uh, instruction right striker stay central getting behind that is it if you want to make it more aggressive then put stay forward but i kind of leave it here so he doesn't stay that far up he kind of just um floats around in front of the camp so you can do quick one twos with them and then your left striker pay attention put come back on defense stay central get in behind uh so come back on defense uh your left striker will literally drop deep into the midfield area next to your left center mid right here so or sorry yeah so you're next to your left center mid so your left your left center mid so patrick Vieira, for example will switch into the center center mid like as a middle cdm he will be, be will be my right cdm and then kelly smith will be my left cdm and then she'll bomb forward afterwards um whenever i'm getting into my attacking phases so make sure you have somebody that's either a high medium work rate here or a high high work rate medium medium will be all right as well don't put high low because they won't drop that deep so high medium preferably high high if not high medium or medium medium either or just leave it there medium high would be nice too but there's not a lot of strikers like that all right and then uh my all out formation 424 i'm not going to go into too much detail over this you can kind of pause the video and just copy and paste everything it's very similar to last week's it's just a little bit more aggressive because this time i do have two wingers instead of the right mid left mid uh so i changed a few instructions not too much you can kind of pause it so you can see everything um but i did what i did want to let you guys know if you guys do play with this formation with the 4231 with the long ball tactic please let go of sprint just let go of sprint 
just let the long ball tactic do the work for you stop sprinting with the ball just pass the ball around and then you don't even have to do oh um you don't even have to do one twos or one two threes you don't have to do anything like that or even do that many l1 triggers it would be nice if you still do l1 triggers but basically um your players are going to be running for for you anyways they're going to be bombing forward forward uh so you just have to figure out who you want to pass it to i will give a moment um and also run back with your cdms because it is going to be a little bit more of an aggressive formation so instead of you getting caught on the counter attacks just run back with your cdms don't tackle you don't have to tackle literally just run in front of your opponent's player and just kind of body them out of the way you don't have to tackle um just kind of that's what i do i just run in front steal the ball i angle it to where i can just get in front just nudge the ball and take it i don't tackle because if you tackle and there are one dribbling they will fool you and then you just lost out on your cdm and now you're outnumbered on a counter attack so just keep that in mind i'll probably make a defending tutorial later on um maybe in a few days when time permits but yeah those are the custom tactics that i'm gonna be using for foot champs uh any other advice i will let you guys know down below um good luck guys hope you guys can get rank one uh, i am trying to get a 20 and 0 possibly if i can i'll probably play two foot champs this weekend two different accounts one of them has to hit 20 and 0 one of them uh, but yeah i'll catch you guys on the next one peace